Robots have fascinated humans for centuries, but they were always seen as Hollywood futuristic beings that probably would never become a reality. Well, Boston Dynamics have gone out of their way to make it a reality by manufacturing some of the most lifelike robots in history. But what is the story of Boston Dynamics and how have they made robotics a reality? Here's how it happened. First of all, what is Boston Dynamics? Well, they're an engineering and robotics company that manufactures robots as well as computer simulation systems. It was the brainchild of Mark Raber, who was an ex-NASA jet engineer. After studying for his PhD at MIT, Raber returned to MIT as a professor of electrical engineering and computer science. Whilst teaching, Raber founded the Leg Lab, a laboratory dedicated to researching robots particularly dynamic legged ones. In 1992, Raber founded Boston Dynamics to fully focus on robotics and was funded predominantly by the military, becoming famous when it created Big Dog, a quadruped robot. The company relied on DARPA for funding, with the goal of developing robots that could tackle real world environments. But by 2013, as deep learning began piquing people's attention, Google, through the parent company Alphabet, acquired Boston Dynamics for an undisclosed fee. It marked Google's eighth robotic purchase that year through their Moonshot Robotics program, or Replicant as it was formerly known, which was being led by Andy Rubin, the Android creator. However, just a year later, Andy Rubin left the business, which left a bit of a hole in the leadership and left employees feeling uncertain. With Boston Dynamics unwilling to focus on commercial robots and lacking profitability, Google started looking for a buyer. And that buyer turned up as Masayoshi Son and SoftBank. Raber described a matchup as a mission to push the boundaries of what advanced robots can do and to create useful applications in a smarter and more connected world. By June 2017, SoftBank acquired the business for a rumored $165 million. With the money sorted, Boston Dynamics could once again focus on developing new robots. So let's take a look at their range of lifelike machines. The first is the aforementioned Big Dog, built for DARPA that can carry 340 pounds and run at 4 miles an hour with a design specifically to work as a pack mule for the military. There were, however, concerns over how loud it was, meaning it couldn't officially be deployed into combat. Then there's the LS3, or Alpha Dog as it's known, another contract from DARPA which was designed to follow Marines to carry their loads. Built with technology to follow a person wherever they go, it was first used by Marines in 2014, and despite impressing many people, the noise again let it down, alongside difficult repairs. Next, there's the Cheetah and Wildcat robots, reaching speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. The Petman was designed like a human, being used to test suits that are used for chemical warfare. It can walk, bend, stay upright, and act like a human. Alice was unveiled in 2013 and was initially similar to Petman and Big Dog. However, it can get up if it falls over, it can jump, and Atlas can perform tricks. Spot previously known as Spot Mini, is the dog companion for the robots and is the quietest robot that Boston Dynamics make. The dog-like robot can climb stairs and run around just like the real thing. They even added a claw so the dog can handle objects and open doors. Speaking of doors, Handle, the simplest robot, a 6.5 foot tall bot that can jump up to 4 feet and stretch can both be used to transport items such as boxes in a warehouse. So that's the Boston Dynamic fleet of robots, and despite the incredible technology, there have been challenges along the way. Many of their competitors like Anki and Mayfield Robotics, as well as Rethink Robotics, have all shut down, running out of money and running out of runway. But whilst they struggled, Boston Dynamics thrived under SoftBank tripling their staff, buying new headquarters, and selling their robot dog Spot to commercial customers for $75,000 a pop, raising $30 million and principally being used to navigate difficult environments. That sounds good until you realize that their operations cost $150 million annually. And when you think drones can do the same thing at a fraction of the cost, you go back to the drawing board. That, coupled with the obvious drawbacks of people hacking the robots which may lead to harm, intimidation or rule breaking, leaves Boston Dynamics with more questions than answers. So what is on the cards for Boston Dynamics' future? 
Well, it was officially announced in June 2021 that Hyundai had completed the purchase of an 80% stake in the business, valuing Boston Dynamics at $1.1 billion and making SoftBank a tidy profit. Hyundai suggests they want to develop service and logistics robots, using their economies of scale thanks to their current manufacturing capabilities and robotic infrastructure. Only time will tell if Hyundai, the publicly traded business, is patient enough to see financial profits from this purchase. It might see Boston Dynamics become slightly more boring in search of profit, well, only if they sack their video production team. There has been change at the top as Rob Plater has come in as CEO, replacing Mark Raber, and he'll need to deliver, along with their newly appointed head of sales. The financials remain to be seen, but according to Raber, Boston Dynamics was only ever engineers that built robots. And thanks to Boston Dynamics, robots are closer than ever. Is that a good thing, or is that a bad thing? We'll let you decide. Leave us a comment with your thoughts below, and that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.